How's it going guys? Alex from APE here and today I'm going to be checking out my Audi TDI swap. If you haven't seen uh, one of my previous videos, I went to a half mile event with my car and ran into some boost issues uh, with some major smoke coming out of the exhaust uh, when letting off the throttle at the end of the track. So today I'm going to be taking the turbo out because I suspect that it's responsible for those issues. Uh, I wasn't able to get max boost on my last runs. I should be hitting around 35 pounds and I wasn't able to do really more than 30. So I'm gonna disassemble the turbo, uh, check bearings. Uh, this is an old turbo. I had bought it used uh, about five years ago when I did my swap. Uh, so that was about almost 50,000 kilometers ago. Uh, so it's, it's done its life. Uh, it's had a pretty hard life running at 30, 35 pounds most of the time that I had the setup. Uh, so things happen. So let's get the turbo disassembled and put it on the bench and see what kind of damage is in there. Okay, so here's the turbo on the bench. So as you can see, it's not new. So it has some wear and tear. Uh, like I said earlier, I had bought it used when I did my swap uh, about five years ago. So it does have some mileage on it. Um, if I look at the actual impeller, I don't think you're gonna be able to see. The impeller does have a bit of damage on it, probably the result of running a cone air filter, which is not good, I know, but race car. Uh, so the impeller does turn, but not a lot, so that's no good. Uh, maybe a result of some soot and um, just good old diesel stuff uh, in the VNT so the uh, actuator vein part of the turbo uh, it does have some shaft play not that bad but probably enough to cause a problem uh, on the exhaust side like I said this is just my old gasket here probably just Take that off, it's dead. Anyway, okay, let's get the gasket off. Okay, so here, I don't have much on this side, but still. Uh, so, I do have a new cartridge for the turbo, so I'm just gonna take it apart clean it off and let's see inside what it looks like. Uh, 
I think I found the problem guys. So when disassembling the turbo, uh, I was looking at my actuator arm here. And since these uh, GTB 2260VZK turbos uh, come on 3 liter TDI engines or Mercedes models I think also, uh, they have an electronic actuator which controls the vans in the turbo. Since I was using it on a vacuum operated motor, so an ALH, uh, the actuator arm needed to be modified uh, and a little stopper had been added on the weldment uh, of the turbo by the previous owner. This was to stop the actuator vanes from completely uh, closing and this little arm fell off. So that probably explains why the turbo died or why I was having boost issues because this was probably making my ECU overcompensate and wasn't able and you can even hear there's a little loose in the veins so I'm maybe scared that maybe the turbo is really dead even without replacing the actual core of the turbo so that sucks so I'm just gonna let the exhaust casing uh, soak a little bit in some uh, PB blaster because it's pretty corroded and jammed on so I'm gonna let that soak heat it up and get that out and see what it looks like inside so here is the exhaust housing once disassembled have the little ring here and then we have the core uh, so the core with the VNT assembly so if I play with the lever here see the veins open and close so once it's down it's completely closed technically you would never want the veins to be completely closed and always have a slight opening of about a millimeter so this is where I think I caused some damage to the turbo since my stopper wasn't there anymore uh, this was going completely closed which probably overspun the turbo and damaged the bearings unfortunately and that's what was causing my smoke so now I, what I'm gonna try to do is disassemble the vein part uh, of the turbo to reinstall it on my new turbo core Okay, so after cleaning everything, I just finished reinstalling uh, the new core into the turbo. Uh, so everything went pretty smoothly. I just had to transfer the VNT mechanism to the new core because it didn't come with it. Uh, at the same time, I updated my oiling uh, return and pressure plate because the one I had that came with the turbo when I bought it was uh, I'll let you judge for yourself I worked but it leaked a little bit and it was a bit sketchy so I decided to make a new one so out of aluminum plate I replaced the drain with the barb fitting and the pressure line with 
uh, banjo line here so that should be a lot better replace the gasket uh, I also did a new stop screw setup here so instead of having a nut welded uh, to the turbo I actually extended the plate tread it in and then put this stop screw on so we have the screw here with the nut that I adjusted to stop the lever at the correct spot uh, the spec is around 1.5 to 2 millimeters uh, on the actual veins so I adjusted that uh, so that should be good uh, only thing left to do is adjust my actuator arm uh, since I'm probably not going to be exactly clocked where I was I'll need to readjust it just to be sure that I have the correct stroke uh, the good way to adjust it is to put a vacuum pump and then uh, simulate maximum vacuum of the engine and just measure to be sure that I hit my stop screw when I get my maximum vacuum so that's pretty much it I uh, gave everything a nice little clean a quick polish here it's looking all nice everything turns correctly everything should be good so I'll get everything tightened up get it reinstalled on the manifold and get it back in the car just finished installing the turbo so everything is back in with the intake everything fits correctly I need to needed to play with the clocking a little bit to get things to fit correctly but everything seems to be good now everything is bolted up new lines and everything so last thing to do let's get it started check for leaks and then go try it out I've been driving for a couple of minutes now car is warming up everything seems to be pulling like it's supposed to uh, spool up seems a little bit slower but that's expected since the last turbo uh, the VNT mechanism in the turbo was faulty and was completely closing that was uh, restricting my exhaust but also causing a faster spool but it's really not a big difference and anyway the way it was it's ultimately going to damage the turbo like it did and I'm also thinking that it's robbing some higher RPM power because it's increasing the exhaust manifold pressure uh, which is actually not helping the motor so the motor is working against the turbo that is limiting the amount of air that it can push out so it's pushing a lot of boost in but not letting the air out so that's probably why I was getting less power uh, higher RPM and having issues building boost now that everything is warmed up we're gonna try a little pull here see how the actuator is working and what kind of boost I'm getting so I just hit right around 30 uh, which is where I'm supposed to be so that's good because I have the small tune in it right now since I was driving with the faulty turbo when I got back from the track last time uh, I just put the small tune in it and I rather do my turbo adjustments on the small tune uh, that way it's just less risk and if it's correctly uh, boosting on the small tune I'm almost sure that on the 35 pound tune it should be boosting uh, correctly also so we're just gonna wait for another straight here and try another rip so here going up finally getting 30 but it is pretty long I'm actually staying around 25 so I'll have to check 
check. I think I'm gonna go back home and do a couple of checkups. Uh, might have a little boost leak or something, but the turbo seems to be working correctly. My EGTs are where they're supposed to be. So that's already good. So I just did a quick inspection and everything seems to be good. I don't have any leaks, uh, any anything seems to be moving. Everything is still tight. I'm just gonna recheck everything, retorque everything, and I should be good. So that's it, guys. The Audi is fixed. So unfortunately, uh, it's almost winter here, so I won't have time to go back to the strip. Uh, but I'll still be working on the Audi. I got a couple of body parts that came in, so some doors, fenders, and we're gonna try to bring her back to a decent shape because she's pretty rough right now. So uh, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see when those new videos come out. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time, guys.